Hello, I'm Jason King. Welcome to my channel about digital advertising for non-profits, where I'll be giving practical advice about how charities can use Google Ads and a Google Ads grant with occasional diversions into related topics. These are going to be bite-sized practical training sessions with some beginner level stuff as well as some advanced techniques and strategy. Today, I want to show you how you can switch your ads on and off depending on the weather. This is a technique that businesses commonly use. Uh, it's how they advertise overcoats to you when it's cold outside and they sell you umbrellas only when it's raining. But why would a charity want to do that? Well, here's one charity that used this technique successfully. The Salvation Army ran ads over winter, asking people to donate to help the homeless. Uh, this was a paid Google Ads account, but I should point out that this exact same technique would work in the same way in an ad grants account too. The difference is in a paid account, they're spending their own money and they want to be doubly sure they're going to get a good investment uh, return on their investment. Uh, the reasoning was that people are much more likely to be concerned with the plight of homeless people when it's freezing cold outside. The worse the weather, the higher the conversion rate is likely to be. So we wanted to run ads that could switch on when it's cold outside and switch back off when the temperature rose. So what were the results after running this campaign? Um, <clears throat> not bad, actually. We achieved a decent return on, on um, our investment, spending one pound to get five pound revenue in donations. So that's five times return on actual spend. Now, weather forecasts are tied to geographical areas. In Google Ads, you can only geotarget locations at the campaign level. So when it's cold in Manchester, we could, for example, switch a campaign that's geotargeted at Manchester on or off. Or we could alter the wording of the ads. So we could change a headline to say it's freezing outside. To do this, you need to have a script. Now that's a piece of code that enables you to automate tasks. Now scripts can get really complex, especially if you're not a coder. And I don't use them often. But I found this particular weather script really easy to work with, uh, even with my limited coding skills. So this is how it works. First, you register with the Open Weather website. That's at openweathermap.org. And I will sh I'll share the address in the video description below. This is open data, freely published for anyone to tap into and updated regularly. Uh, you need to sign up with this. So you sign up, and it's a really simple process, you sign up to use their Open Weather API. Don't worry too much about what an API is. Um, it's essentially connecting you to the data. Uh, you're only gonna need a free account in order to get current weather data. Um, you could, if you wanted, um, get forecast data for the future, but we just wanna know What's the weather like outside right now? Now, once you sign up with this website, you are given your own private API key, which you can uh, get to quite easily in the dashboard once you're signed up. <laughs> I've redacted mine because I don't want you to know what it is. It's something you keep private. Um, now, once you've done this, make a note of this key, copy it, and save it for later. You're going to need it. <clears throat> Fortunately, you're not going to need to write a script from scratch because that would be complex. Helpfully, Google Ads have provided one you can adapt for your own needs. You will find this on the developers.google.com website. And again, I'll provide a link in, a, in the description for the video below. <clears throat> Here is the script. Um, so on the developers.google.com website, it's the weather-based campaign management script. Now, importantly, I'm using the one that's called generic, not bidding. Uh, the generic one is a simplified version that you can reuse for your own purposes. Um, and let's look down here. I'm just gonna scroll down and we will find all this code, source code it says. Under here, we have a great big box full of code. Don't worry about what's in there. 
you can simply click an icon here to copy the lot. That's copied to my clipboard. The next step is to go to your Google Ads account. Log into Google Ads, go to Tools and Settings, go to Scripts, and you will see a list of any scripts that are currently on your account. There may not be any. Um, there are 12 scripts on mine here, and that's one for each of the 12 regions of the United Kingdom. Um, to take an example, um, London, uh, this script will turn ads off. It will turn off a whole campaign of ads off if the temperature is above three degrees in London, but it will switch the campaign on if the temperature is below three degrees centigrade in London. It checks hourly, so these scripts potentially can switch on and off every hour. And because we have one um, for each of these 12 campaigns, these can be, um, depending on the temperature, um, a number of your campaigns can be running at one time, switched off at another. It's constantly changing. And it's great to automate this because there is no way I want to be checking the weather once an hour and then going and turning my campaigns on and off manually. This is a fantastic way to automate an account. <clears throat> okay, let's look at one. Let's look at the Northern Ireland one. Here we go. This is the same code as we found on the Google Developers uh, website. Copied and pasted in. <coughs> Excuse me. With a couple of changes. Uh, for starters, we put in our own API key and we take the API key from the open weather site, you log in, you get your code and you paste it in here where mine says redacted currently. Uh, once you've done that, there's one other little thing to do near the top. Um, we are, in this case, looking at current weather. So it tells us to uncomment this line. By uncomment, what it actually meant was just remove these two forward slashes. And then this line of code starts to work. If we were doing weather forecasting for future weather, then it's actually these two that we would have removed. So once we learn those two really quite basic things, we're then onto the slightly trickier thing. Now, uh, depending on your ability to kind of code or just to think this stuff through, um, you might be able to get all the information you need off the Google developers website um, and figure out how to bend this script to your own needs. You need to strategize a bit here. You need to think, what am I trying to achieve? So the weather's going, it's rainy, it's freezing. What should happen in that instance? Now, what happens here, uh, now this was Northern Ireland, the script. So um, if the weather in this location, which is Belfast, UK, is above 276, now that's Kelvins, not a measurement uh, that I use very often. So I had to look this up. Um, three degrees centigrade, which is kind of cold, is 276 Kelvins. So I came back here. If the weather is over 276 Kelvins, in other words, three degrees centigrade, then we're going to pause the campaign with this name. So there's a campaign called Paid Cold Weather Northern Ireland. That campaign is paused when it's warm. But if the weather is below three degrees centigrade, then that same campaign is enabled. Bear in mind the script will run once an hour. It's turning that campaign on and off according to the weather. But you might have a different strategy. You might want to turn ads on and off when it's raining, uh, in which case you'll have to look that up. Um, the documentation is there. You will find out, and it's, it's not too tricky, how to turn ads on and off according to a number of different criteria. Before your script will run, you will need to authorize it. Uh, an option will be up at the top of the screen in blue for you to do that. And that's Google asking, are you sure you really want to do this? And should you be able to do this? It will just double check. And then of course you've got to test it. 
Never let a script run on your account without testing it works properly first. That's why you'll find a preview link at the bottom of the right of the screen. Once you've made changes to a script, um, preview it. See if it would have changed anything. Would it have altered your campaign, switch it on or off? Would it have changed the wording of ads? Um, and does it do it correctly? Um, it'll also, if there are errors in your code, point them out in a handy little log so you can go fix them. Now, if it worked and you're happy with the results, there'll be a, a, a link to run it uh, in real life and you can save it. And then you can, in the list of scripts, tell it how often you want it to run. Is that hourly? Is that daily? Is that weekly? And so on. Make sure it's enabled. And over the next few days, check the results are what you expect. Always keep an eye on your account whenever you've made any major changes. So, it was useful, it worked, um, we got a decent return on our spend, we put the ads in front of the right people, I think, at the right time, in the right weather. Um, I hope that advice will be useful to you and your non-profit, and I just want, would like to leave you with a final thought, uh, and that's that there's a lot of open data available these days. Uh, there's a lot available from government sources, and I'll just show a couple of examples here. Um, data.gov.uk, so for the United Kingdom, the, the government produces a lot of open data on all sorts of different things to do with um, crime, maps, society, transport, health. Uh, a lot of this data um, will be uh, have a geographical component. Theoretically, you might be able to connect your ads to this data. Um, to show different ads in different places according to specific needs. There is also a United States source of open government data at data.gov. Uh, if your nonprofit has used any of these sources or any other open data in their ads in this way or, or use weather ads, I would be very interested to know. So please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm Jason King, I'm an Ad Grant certified professional and um, a product expert for Google Ads. Uh, if there are any other topics you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below and I might do a video on that. Meanwhile, um, thank you and hope to see you on the next video.